Well, there's plenty happening. Uh, the, the, the Voice, of course, has <laughs> yeah. launched many a career, none more so than Harrison Craig, whose debut album, More Than a Dream, hit number one and became a platinum-selling debut. And along the way, he has, of course, notched up eight top five songs, including four number ones. And now his second album, L-O-V-E. As the show that catapulted him to stardom approaches its climax, I caught up with Harrison to see how life is after The Voice. I let you go. He's a shining example of what's up for grabs. And the winner of The Voice 2013 is Harrison Craig. It's the closest thing to overnight success, and Harrison's certainly enjoying the ride. You know, writing and recording around the world, it's, uh, it's just incredible. It's been, uh, you know, and my fans, they're just the best. And I would do everything. The creative process of writing a song, creating something out of nothing, is Harrison's passion. To write a great song, that's where it comes a, you know, a task that you really need to, um, to just really throw your whole mind into um, and just love it. And there's a lot of L-O-V-E in his new album dedicated to his mum. The tracks on the album really reflect that kind of love that you not only have for your parents for you know your mum but for your family your friends your brothers uh your partners for everyone on this album he's covering some classic songs from great artists like nat king cole robbie williams and jpy love is in the air in the rising of the sun Songs that transcend generations. I mean, the tracks are just really some of the best. Along the way, Harrison's become an example of not letting anything hold him back, like his famous stutter. Life can throw curve balls, um, and, you know, just in my mind, it's really about you and the way that you handle those. And it's not something that bothers him anymore. He's a nice lad, that Harrison Craig. His album L-O-V-E is out now.